Hi everyone, Peter Lisiago, once again in Mount Laurel, New Jersey. And I'm just taking a break between classes. I have about 45 minutes before I do a black belt class. I've already done about three or four classes today. And, and I just was thinking of just going over in my head some of the things that I learned and some highlights in my head that just jumped out at me from, uh, from the ProMac uh, conference and training that we did on, on Friday of last week with Dave Kovar and a whole bunch of other instructors. But one thing came to mind, one thing that we started talking about when we, talk, when we spoke about uh, just going out into our communities and, and getting leads and, and creating opportunities to share with others about our martial arts program, the benefits of our program. The one thing that did came out was that we had a moral obligation to really share with the world the work that's being done in the martial arts world and how we are changing lives and starting with our own life how martial arts has changed our life and many times we get caught up into just the kicks and the punches and the physical aspect even though that's a great part of it it's exciting it's a spectacle and, and incredible but there's it goes deeper than that it goes into personal development and achievement and overcoming incredible challenges and barriers and the story of martial arts and training in martial arts is so much more than just the kicks and the punches and so uh, many times I go through our community and people share their challenges, their obstacles, their frustrations. And you know what? We as martial arts instructors, we have a solution for them. And we may be the solution for them. And we have a moral obligation to share with them uh, just the idea of training in martial arts and, and embracing what we have embraced and that they can take their life to a whole new exciting level through martial arts, through the discipline, through the training, the physical, the mental, the emotional, the spiritual training of martial arts. And, and uh, my thought is to find out who has schools everywhere in the world. And I know I have a school in Mount Laurel, New Jersey, so I'm serving you know, our community you know, within five miles, maybe up to 10 miles away. But beyond that, where can I uh, send others that maybe that are not inside uh, where, uh, around where my school is. You know, I have people on uh, my social networks like Facebook. I have people around the world in, in the East Coast, West Coast, up in Canada. I have people out in Europe because I spent some time in Europe. And so my question is, is that uh, when they see something that I share about my martial arts and what I'm doing in martial arts, and this happens all the time, uh, they always say, oh gosh, I wish you know, we lived closer to you so I could send my kids to your school. But you know what? There are schools out there, and I know right where they are that they can send their kids to, that they can get the benefits of martial arts. So what I'm going to do now is right below, I'm going to give a list and send this to, uh, to people that I know around the world, a list of martial arts schools that I have connected with that have demonstrated a commitment to personal development, to personal growth, through martial arts and these are great martial artists so some of you that I've met I'll share your links and just let the world know that you know hey I'm not the only one out there there are other great instructors out there even better than me and I'm not gonna fool myself into think that I am the best out there I'm pretty good but some of you guys are incredible so thank you for sharing thank you for uh, just giving your ideas and I look forward to seeing you guys once again and um, learning more take care